Good morning or afternoon or whenever you're doing this video. Hope everyone's doing well, staying at home. Um, I wanted to make sure I have a video for you guys to do so you can keep your exercise up at home. Have fun, keep the hearts lifted, and um, hope you guys are doing okay. I miss all of you guys, and if I don't know you, maybe I'll meet you after this is all over. So, we will need some equipment for today. Just like our last class, two soup cans. Um, two boxes of something or something we can use. We're gonna use them to do some movement across the floor. So you could do four soup cans. Um, a paper plate, we're gonna use this to slide against the floor. Um, so wanna make sure you have surface that you can slide easily across. This can be used on a slippery surface or a carpet as well. If you don't have a paper plate, um, you can use a t-shirt on the floor. We're also gonna all need a t-shirt. So if you don't have a t-shirt, you don't have any of this equipment, Pause, go get it, and then come back and meet me for our warm up. First thing you'll need is a t shirt. So let's go do that. All right, coming back here. Let me get my hair out of the way so I can do what I gotta do for you guys. All right, grab hold of that t shirt. Grab the ends of the t shirt. Put a little tension on it the whole time. So you don't wanna have a slack in the t shirt. You wanna be pulling it apart. This will use those shoulder muscles. Again, we're gonna stand up nice and tall. Pull it apart, standing up nice and tall. I'll show you the side view. We're gonna inhale, lift those arms up. Exhale, bring them back down. Keeping tension on that t-shirt the whole time. Inhale and exhale. Good, chest is lifted, head is lifted. As you do this, just think about breath. Breathe in, exhale, slowly let it go. Breathe in, and exhale, let it go. We're gonna do two more of those. Each time standing up a little bit taller, each time getting your breath a little bit deeper. Good, this will be our last one. Inhale, 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 hold that inhale and then sigh it out as the arms go down, keeping the tension on the t-shirt. Good, let's take the feet nice and wide. Hold that t-shirt out in front of you. Give me one second. I just realized I didn't have any lights on. Okay, so let's pull that tension on that t-shirt. Feet are nice and wide, and we're gonna twist side to side. Opening up that waist, standing up tall. Doesn't have to be quick. Feel your shoulders work as you're continuously pulling apart, lifting that chest up, pulling your shoulders down. Good. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna come back, bend the knees, twist to one side, lift the arms up, bring them back down, come back to center. Twist the other, lift them up, Bring them down, come back to the center. So you're gonna inhale as you go to the sides and lift. Exhale as you go down and come back to center. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Good, few more. And exhale, when your arms go up, I want you to look up now at the ceiling if you're not already. Feel that beautiful stretch. Exhale, come back. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do one more on each side. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Good, let's come back to center. We're gonna just move those arms in a circle. Moving them around, nice circle, pulling that t-shirt apart the whole entire time. Breath in as you go up, on the down part, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and let's switch directions. Get a beautiful stretch in the shoulders, and again, if you have limited range in your movement, you just work smaller, so you can go smaller. You don't have to go all the way up. You do whatever it is you can do. Good, now we're going to do circles. Put that tension on there. We're gonna use our whole body. We're gonna go up. This time as we go down to the side, we're gonna bend our knees, go down, reach it up. Inhale in the up, exhale in the down. 
Good. Keep your eyes on the t-shirt the whole time. Good, let's look up and let's switch directions. Bend down and up. Good. Last one. And good, let's come back down. Just roll the shoulders back a little bit. Shake it out, shake it out. All right, next thing we're gonna do, come down here so you can see, you're gonna pull that t-shirt apart. You're gonna keep your elbows out to the side. You're gonna pull back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, keep that head up, and then go out in front. You wanna be using your back muscles as you do this. So push out, you're gonna feel those shoulders, Pull back, squeeze, squeeze, and push. Now we're gonna add the leg to it. So when the arms go forward, you step forward. Pull back and squeeze. Step forward, pull back and squeeze. Step forward, pull back and squeeze. Keep that body up nice and tall. That's it. Keep those elbows pointing back. Again, all that tension as you pull that apart. Good, let's do one more. Each side. And good, let the arms go down. Roll the shoulders back. All right, let's do our marching with the use of our t-shirt. Put the tension on the t-shirt really slowly. We're gonna lift up one leg as the arms go up slowly come back down. Now if you need to, again you can hold on to a chair, just put the t-shirt in one side, you can lift up and down and you can alternate. If you have balance is just lovely, just put a little tension, whoopsie daisies, hot, <laughs> slippery, <laughs> and you're gonna keep going. All right, let's keep it going. Movement is nice and slow. Feel that foot pressing into the earth. Slowly come down. Inhale. Exhale. Now if you can, you look up towards the ceiling as you do this. Good. Just a couple more. And we've got one more movement left in our warm up. And Good, perfect, just roll those shoulders back. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a side step with a twist. So you're gonna step out to one side, that t-shirt's out in front of you, bend that knee, twist, come back. Step to the side, bend that leg you're stepping with, twist, come back. Step, twist, come back. Good, keep going, out to the side, Twist, come back, side, twist, come back. And again, you can do this with the chair. You can let the t-shirt go. Keep the tension in the t-shirt so you're working those shoulders. If you want, you can add an upward lift to the side. Step, twist, lift, like we did earlier in the warm-up, step, twist, lift. Good. Keep going. Just a few more. And good. Do one more on each side. Go ahead. Make sure you take a nice big step. Twist. Lift the arms up. Bring them back down. Come back to center. Both feet together. Take another big step. Twist. Lift both arms up. Bring them down. Come back to center. Perfect. We're done with the t-shirt. Next thing you're going to need is the paper plate. If you have any balance, you're going to use the chair to do this. You're going to take the paper plate, take it on to the floor. I'll show you a couple different views. We'll do the sideways view. You're going to put it underneath your right toe first. You're going to hold on to the chair or without a chair. Body stays up nice and tall. If you're using the chair, you don't want to lean into the chair. You want to push down into it to lift you up. It's under just my right toes. 
My right toes right back there. My left leg is going to do all the work. I'm going to bend my left knee. My right leg slides back. And then I come back on up to standing. Slide back. Come back on up. Slide back. Back on up. I'm putting my weight in my left heel. And I press up nice and straight. Very light on my right leg. My right leg is the leg that's going backwards. The front leg is doing all this work. I'm standing up as tall as I can. Good. Let's do about three more here. Nice and slow. One, two, don't worry, it's gonna get nice and tough. Good, now let's sink down. My weight's gonna go into my front leg. I stay down low. I'm just gonna slide my right leg to my left and slide it back. We're gonna do that 10 times. Two, three, you can hold on to the chair. Four, five, six, seven, eight, hang in there, nine, 10. Good, take it and shake it out, shake it out. All right, let's do the other side. So we're going to take that paper plate, put it under our left toes. You have a chair, the right foot's gonna go right near the chair, and you're gonna push into it. I'm gonna be light on my left leg, all my weight's on my right heel right now. I'm going to stretch that left leg back, press into the right heel, and go nice and tall. Slide back, as low as you can, and up. No chair. And you can add arms to it, or just hold on. That's it, good. Let's do a few more. You want to go deep, go deep, or if this is just enough right here, do enough. Let's do three more. Slide back for one, two, last one, three. Keep that right knee bent. Hands rest on the right knee or the chair. Come forward, slide the left leg to meet the right. Extend it all the way back. Ten of those. Two, three, four, five. Abs in, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Press on up, shake it out. You should definitely feel that in your thighs a little bit. Let's do something, hold on to something that you have support somewhere. Cross your left ankle over your right upper thigh and just sit back, get a nice stretch in that tush. And breathe. There you go, perfect. Let's come on up and we'll switch to the other side. Cross your right ankle over or whatever is the other and sit back, relax, breathe. Ah. That's it, good. Let's come back on up. We're not done with that paper plate yet. You're gonna put it underneath your right toe. If you are using a chair, you're gonna take the chair now, bring it in front of you. If you're not using a chair, put it to the side. I'm gonna show you without a chair so you can see my feet. Let me slide back just a little bit. It's under my right toes. My right heel is free, it's on the floor. All right, so I'm gonna slide my right leg out, wherever it's comfortable, and my right heel is gonna stop me. I'm equal weight between my right and my left. Then I'm gonna use my inner thighs to zip back straight in. My legs stay straight. Out, stop evenly, perfectly in the middle. Zip those legs together. If you wanna add arms, out and zip. Out and zip. Good, when you do that, you really pull in those tummy muscles nice and tight and stand up nice and tall in the center. Bum, bum. There we go. Feeling those inner thigh muscles working. Let's do three more. One, two, feel that heel stop you. And three, good, let's switch the other foot. Shake it out a little bit. Put it under the toes you didn't do. I'm gonna say my left, but it might be your right. Doesn't matter. Feet are together, whatever is your other. All right, slide out. 
equal weight. All right, one thing I do want to make sure is when I see this in class, sometimes people just go like this. They slide it out, little tippy toes, and they bring it back in. I want you to slide it out, even weight. Pull it back in, out, and in. Good. And you can make the arms as big as you want on this one. And if you have that chair in front of you, no different. Just have a hand on the chair. Still can do it. Standing up nice and tall. Breathing. Right? If you're at home, you can put your own dance music on while you do these. If you got a family member, get them to do it with you. All right. Lovely. All right. We can take this little disc and we're going to get rid of it. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to need your two cans of soup. We're gonna use or weights. If you have weights, grab those. And either two boxes of something or you can have two other cans of soup. So I'm gonna go set something up on the floor and then I'll bring the camera to show you how to do it. So. Okay, so I've set up, um, I'll show you a flippy around. At the end, you are going to have your two soup cans, followed by somewhere in the middle of your floor, a box, or it could be a soup can, just something. And then at the end, another box or soup can. Now, if you have balance stuff, do this somewhere near a wall where your hand, it could be a hallway, where your hand could grab onto the wall while doing this. So what we're gonna do is for one minute, we are going to, let me flip you around, run from the soup cans to the first box. If you want, touch the box with your hand and then run back to the soup cans. Then we're going to run to the far soup bo or, uh, yeah, box, touch it, and then run back to the beginning. We're gonna keep repeating that run to the box in the middle, run back, run to the box at the far end, run back. So let's do it on your own for one minute. I'll keep an eye on time. Ready and let's go. First cans to box, box back to cans. Cans to the far away box and then back to your cans. Keep it going guys. Hello, hello, you can do it. Keep that body up, standing up nice and tall. If you're jogging, you're jogging nice and light. Keep your jog nice and light. Good, lift your chest. Make sure we're moving your arms, breathing as you run. Good, keep it up. You have about 20 more seconds. You can do this. All right, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny not seeing you, but I know you're out there, so keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and what? One, perfect. Let's grab your two soup cans now. Pick those on up. We're gonna use those for some weights. Grab hold of them. I'm gonna come back over here, set it up, and show you what's next. Good, we're gonna do our shoulder raises for one minute. Arms by your side, standing up nice and tall. Take them out to the side and bring them back down. We're gonna do that for one minute. You can take them forwards if you want or out to the side. Whatever it is best for your shoulders, go up and down. If you wanna add an element of balance, you can stand on one leg for a little bit. Good. That's it. You can always switch the other leg, keeping those arms going up and down. Keep it going. Let's see, I'm gonna keep an eye on the time. I'm just checking on my camera. There we go, we've got 20 more seconds. Up and down, that's it. Adding that balance element, or you can just march as you do this. That's okay too. 
Keep it up for 10. Count with me. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Let's put your soup cans back to where you found them at the beginning over where you're running. So how we had it set up before. Okay, so they're back here. You got your middle box and your far away box. Now we're gonna do this sideways, same thing. My feet are gonna start at the soup can. I'm gonna be facing this way. I'm gonna go sideways, there you can see me. Touch my box, go sideways, go down, touch my cans, go sideways all the way to my far box, touch, and then make it back all the way to my cans. And you're gonna repeat that for one minute. All right, ready? Let's go. Pick a side you want to face, and let's go. Soup cans. First box. Back to soup cans. Soup cans. Make your way all the way to the far end box. And then sideways, all the way back to the soup cans. Make sure as you're moving, you're going to keep those toes facing forward. A lot of times you see one of these go out to the side. I see it all the time. Toes are forward. That's it. You don't have to go too fast. That's it, keep it going. You got another 20 more seconds. Keep it up. If you wanna add your arms into it, as you're doing it, take the arms both out to the side and then bring them back in. Keep it up. 10 more seconds, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Let's go grab those soup cans for our strength exercise. All right, grabbing the soup cans. We're going to do one minute standing up nice and tall. Our shoulders are back, our chest is out. Alternately bicep curls. Good. Let's go. That goes all the way up, all the way down. Perfect. Now, if you want to do this one, you can again march as you do this. Keep that body up. Look up towards the ceiling as you do this. That's it. Keep them going. Keep them going. One minute here. Nice, quick arms. Make sure they go all the way up to your shoulder and all the way down to your side. Make sure we keep those elbows into our side. They're touching the side the whole time. And that's it. Keep it going. Keep those going. Good. You've got another 20 more seconds. All the way up, all the way down. 15 to go. Good. Don't slow it down. Keep those legs moving. Perfect. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Let's put these guys back to the beginning. Okay, let me show you the next setup over here. I'm gonna flip it around. You're going to have just one lonesome soup cam all by itself, followed by a box. A little further, the other soup can, followed by the box. So it's going to look like this. These are going to be your movements for things. So let's start at the beginning. What we're going to do is for the next minute, circle around each one, one time. So I'm going to approach my first soup can. I'm going to do a full circle around it. Then I'm going to jog or walk to my box. Do a full circle around it, then go to my can, full circle around it, then go to my box, full circle around it. Then I'm going to turn around and continue back. Same thing, circle around here, go to this one, circle, circle and repeat for one minute. Ready? Let's begin that minute. Begin. One minute. Make sure you go around each obstacle. Keep that body up 
Make sure you're breathing, move those arms. Try not to stay so still with the arms and go. Keep it up, keep it up. Good, circling around each one with your feet. That's it. Make sure we're breathing. At any time, you feel free to grab some water, circle around, keep it up. You've got another 30 seconds. That's it. Try not to knock anything over. Don't look down if you can. Use your eyes to look straight ahead or your head straight ahead. Just use your eyeballs to look down. Keep it going for 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Last one we're gonna do with our soup cans for our strength training is, all right, we're gonna take our elbows in by our side. We're gonna extend our arms back and bend. Upper arm stays where it is. Extend straight back, bend at the elbow. So, back. So at the elbow, it's 90 degrees only. So, 180, 90. 180, 90. My upper arm stays exactly where it's supposed to go. Keep it going. That's it. Keep going. Bend, extend. Good, keep those going. Good, you wanna make sure you're working the back of your arm, so fully extending that arm all the way back. Bend and straighten. Keep it up, you've got another 20 more seconds. And again, if you need more, you can always add more seconds to this. Pause the video at any time. If you wanna repeat it, you can do it a whole other time. So, let's keep it up for 10 more seconds. Let's see, five, four, three, two, and perfect, one. Let's put all our soup cans, all our supplies aside because we're done with them. We are going to do a mock speed bag drill. So when we do speed bag in class, I'll show you kind of the form that we do, is our elbow is out to the side. All right, I'm gonna pretend that this glove is my speed bag. So, elbows out to the side. I'm going to circle around, hit the speed bag. My elbow stays up the whole time. So I circle and punch. Circle and punch. My arm looks like this. It moves in a circle. So what we're gonna do is we're going to circle that right arm for a minute. Okay, circle it up, keep the elbow up the whole time. Let's go. Circle, circle. Keep a nice consistent circle as you do this. The tendency is, is to slow down or get kind of a little crazy with our movements. Keep it going. Good, you can pick it up if you want or pick a pace that's your right. You can do the standing or seated. If you have a speed bag at home, work on it. Don't let that elbow drop, keep that Elbow up, tendency I see all the time in class is the elbows drop. Keep it going. Same intensity, same intensity. Let's keep it up for 10 more seconds and then we'll switch to the other arm. Good, keep it going. I'm just gonna fix my camera for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, so you should feel that in that right shoulder or left, whatever one you did first. Other hands out in front. You're gonna hit the bag, the speed bag, with this part of your hand. If you were gonna hit it, you're gonna circle it around. I'll show you what it looks like. Holding a glove. If you have a partner, they can do this. Elbows up, punch, 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 punch. Keep it going. Circle, circle. And good, keep that for 30 seconds. And you'll notice that once the arm has a little more fluidity than the other. This is my left, so it's not quite as smooth as my right arm is. That's okay. That's why we're doing this drill, one and the other. So you can keep working it. Keep that elbow up. 
Elbows up, try to keep that rhythm. You have some music at home, pick something that has a beat that you can keep this rhythm. You can practice this any time in the day. No one's looking, it's just you by yourself at home. <laughs> no worries, keep it up. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. All right, next one we're gonna do is a rolling drill. So basically, you have one hand on top of the other. This is the drill where you're gonna go one fist circles over the other. My elbows stay out to the side. That's it. So you just wanna keep it going. One minute. Keep the circle small as you do this. No big, crazy arms. One. So they maybe just almost touch one another, but they're not. Elbows both stay out to the side. Keep that circle. Keep that circle. Good. One over the other. And you want to see how nice and quick you can get. Make sure you don't hit yourself. I have done that before. <laughs> circle, 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 circle. Good. Keep it going. Good. Don't let it slow down. It might just stop. It might get crazy. You might notice the arms get far away. Bring them close back together. Now, if you want, you can switch directions. Go the other direction. Just for these last 10 seconds. And you'll notice one hand is definitely your dominant hand. Keep it up for five, four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! All right, perfect. All right, so we got one more thing we're gonna do is we're going to do our shadow boxing. And we're gonna, as we do our shadow boxing, we are going to be using our voices to say out the punches that we're doing. And we're going to make sure that we do full extended punches as we do this. So. If you have your gloves, grab your gloves. This is also the point in the class where if you wanna grab some water, put the pause button on, grab your water. It's very important to stay hydrated. So grab some water. All right, so if you have no gloves, it's okay. It's just more for a little bit of fun. Let me get on up. Okay, so. In our last class, let me just put this angle the camera just a little bit lower so we can see the legs. Ah, not shut through it. <laughs> that was a good picture. Uh, sorta. All right, this will do. All right, so feet are hip width apart. Take your dominant leg back. We did this in our first class. I'm a righty. My right leg goes back. My left foot's forward. My left toes point forward my right toes slightly point out. They're out wide enough. I bend my knees, my balance myself straight down in the middle. Okay, my elbows are in, my palms face my cheeks. I'm just gonna shift weight between my front and the back foot. Good, and we're gonna do each punch we've done. Yesterday, when our, the last class I did was ones and twos, jabs and crosses. So one is your non-dominant hand, Straight out in front of you, bring it back in, that's a one. A two is a cross, that gets that back hip in rotation as you punch and bring it back. So, let's just start off with the first few seconds here, just doing one, twos, count them out as you do it, Ben. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, keep it up. As you do this, make sure the palm faces down as you go out, Comes back on in, keep it counting. Out and in, out and in. Straight out, bring it back in. Straight out, bring it back in. That two, move that back hip forward. Push that hip forward. One, two, one, two. That's one, one, two. All right, good. So you know that was a little refresher from yesterday. Next one we're gonna do is our threes and fours. They're doing a little bit slower because we're gonna wind the body up to get the power for the punch. So three is gonna be your front arm, non-dominant arm. You're gonna twist. I'm gonna twist to my left, a little bit to my left. Then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna punch right here. See how my back of my hand is facing away from me and I'm facing inwards. This is a hook. That's gonna be my left hook. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my elbow, bring my hand back to my face. Twist to the right, right hook, 
bring it back to my face. Now we're gonna add numbers to these so we can add the component of memory, okay? So it's gonna be three is my left hook, four is my right hook. Three, four, get used to your numbers. Three, four, good, keep it up. Three, four, three, four. Make sure you twist each time and bring the hand back to the face, the elbow comes back in. Good, three, four, three, four. One more, three, four. Good, shake it out, shake it out. Now we're gonna do is a one, two, three, four. One, twos can be a little quicker in their, in their flow, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four. Just until you get it, one, two, three, four, and back. All right, you're gonna do that for one minute. All right, let's call it out as you do it. Make sure you got your punches. Ready, elbows in, hands by your face. Time begins now. One, two, three, four. Good, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep it up, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep it up, go ahead. Another 40 seconds. Count those out. Make sure those punches when you go out are fully extended. Make sure those hooks come around and come back to your face. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep it up, keep it up. All right, that's it. You got another 15 seconds. Don't give up. Nice full movements. Use your whole entire body. One, two, three, four. Count the last. Five with me, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a little breather. All right, so that's one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do one, two, three, two. All right, hands up, elbows in. So you know one, a two, a three, a two. So one is your jab, Two is your cross, three is your left hook, and two. So it's one, two, three, two. You're gonna do that for a minute. Count it out as you do it. Remember each punch, because as we do these videos, I'm gonna make the combinations harder. I'm gonna call out combinations, and this is where it's gonna get tested. If I went, there's, say there's six different punches, if I went six, three, two, one, four, you would have to get that punch all that, so we're starting from the basics. All right, so ready? One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. Keep it up. One, two, three, two. Hands in. One, two, three, two. Elbows in. One, two, three, two. Keep it up. One, two, three, two. Keep it up, count on your own. You got another 30 seconds of that. Come on, one, two. Three, two, nice and loud. Use your voices. Let the voice come from your belly. One, two, three, two. That's it. All right, keep it going. We've got another 15 more seconds. Nice and strong. Physically, you got that? Good. Use your voices nice and loud. You've got five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Time. Good. Next combination is going to be a little bit longer. We're going to go one, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay? So, one, whoopsie daisies, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, one, two, three, four. So it's going to be jab, jab, cross, one, two, three, four. Elbows in. So let's count those out. I'll start you off. Get your palms facing you, elbows in. One, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, one, two, three, four. Keep it up. One, one, two, one, two, three, four. Keep it going. Good, you have another 35 more seconds of that. Make sure when you do those jabs, Arms all the way out, come back in. So it's even gonna be one, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, 
One, two, one, two, three, four. Hands always come in, elbows always come in. Good, keep it up. You're almost there, 20 more seconds. Make sure we're breathing, using those lungs. One, one, two, one, two, three, four. Voices, let your neighbors question, what are you doing at home? Keep it up, five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Hallelujah. All right. Oops, I'm sitting down. You can't see me. All right. Last one we're going to do is a memory one. And this is going to be our ABCs of boxing. Um, so what we're going to do is each punch. We're going to do a different food. Since food is of the essence these days, we're going to every punch, we're going to say a different food that starts with the letter of the alphabet. So we're going to go from A to Z. So I'll show you for an instance. I'm going to go apples, banana, cantaloupe, Danish, and continue on until I get, get to Z. All right? So get in your boxing position. Elbows in, palms face you. Make sure you fully extend, come back in. Fully extend, come back in. All right, ready? Let's go. You kind of got this one on your own. I don't want to give out too many clues. Everybody's at home doing their own thing. So that's it. If you get stuck on one, maybe there's someone around you can ask or be creative and make up your own type of food source. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Good, keep it up. Let's see, apples, banana, cantaloupe, danish, eggplant, french fries, F, G, grapes, H, hamburger, I, ice cream, J, jelly beans. I don't know. There you go. Keep going. You're almost there, I'm sure. You got to be a W or something by now. Keep going. Push your brain. We go all the way to Z and everyone else is still going. Go back to A, give yourself new fruits and vegetables, or you could do like a different topic all together. So keep it going. I'm gonna give everyone another 15 more seconds. If you don't get there in 15, feel free to pause it and continue on. All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right, wish I could hear y'all, but anywho, Next part of the class that we're going to do is um, before you can take your gloves, put them down if you want, or just keep them on. This last one is just going to be silly face and mimic my movements. So we do this a lot for expression of the face. And so we'll start like this. Dull face, mouth shut, eyes staring, watch my hand, follow it on your screen. Watch my face as I do my hand movements. I'd have a little giggle. Okay, well, that's that. Now we're gonna do our stretching. So go put your stuff down, get yourself a chair that you can stretch in. Um, you can do this on the floor too, but I'm gonna teach you from a chair. Most people have a chair, they can do it in. So I'm gonna go get my chair. I'll meet you guys right on back and we'll do some stretching and our meditation. All right, hope you guys are having fun. Okay, perfect. So let's sit up at the front edge of your chair, sitting up nice and tall, arms by your side. Um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to get the whole shabang, but nope, that made it worse. More ceiling. 
Give me one little second. Maybe if I bring it lower. Much better. Okay, <laughs> let's take one leg out in front of you, pull the toes back, and let's lean forward. There we go. Make sure we add our breaths. So breathe in and out. Good, that same leg that you have out in front of you, you're gonna cross it over and you're just going to lean forward. Stretch it. Bring your head down, let your body just melt. It might look like this, it might look like this. Don't push the knee down. Just let the hands relax. If they wanna go anywhere, you put them over here on this side. Good, we're gonna take whatever that knee is and pull it towards our opposite shoulder. Sitting up nice and tall. Breathe in and out. Perfect. Let's go the other side. Other leg straight out in front of you. Hands rest on the bent knee. You can reach for your toes. Keep the leg straight. Try not to bend it to get to the toes. Keep it straight and reach. And breathe. Breathe it in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just enjoy. Good. Whatever leg's in front of you, you're gonna cross it over. Keep the foot flexed, knee relaxes, hands can rest on the ankles, and lean forward. Breathe. You can let the head relax down. Good. Slowly, let's come on up. That knee that's hanging off to the side, let's pull that knee to the opposite shoulder and sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes. Think about letting the hips relax. <sighs> Good. Let's bring both legs down, bring the feet together. We're gonna cross one arm over, stretching that shoulder, sitting up nice and tall. Good, you can close your eyes as you breathe, as you feel. <sighs> Good. Let's take that same arm, reach it up, pat yourself on the back and then pull it in towards your body, either from below or above. Look up, breathe, smile. <sighs> Good, let's bring it down. Let's do the other side, cross the arm over, pull it in, keep the shoulder down, close your eyes. Breathe in and relax. Allowing yourself just to be in this moment. Good, let's reach that same arm up, pat yourself on the back, pull it on in. In times like this, our minds like to try to figure out what is all is happening. It tries to give meaning to everything because our minds like to figure it out. So as we're doing this practice at home, and as we really can't figure out too much, take the arms down, Maybe just to surrendering to what is. Let's just be present in our moments. In this moment, smile. In this moment, give yourself the gift of right now. Good. Let's let one ear drop to one shoulder. Let your shoulders relax. Close your eyes and be present just with that one breath that you're taking. Really feel it. Breathing in. Sigh. Letting it go. Bring the head back on up. Let's go to the other side. Let the ear tip down, the shoulders relax. Breathe in. And exhale. Perfect. Let's come back on up. And so the beauty is, let's slide to the back of our chair. Interlace our hands behind your head, elbows out the side, and lean back. Breathe. The thing is, is every moment we have a chance to take in the moment with our inhale. And with our exhale, we can let go of all the thoughts that aren't serving us. So exhale, let them go. Inhale, being in tune with the new new. Here I am. This is the new new right now. Exhale, let go of whatever else isn't, is holding you back. Tip to one side. Breathe. 
Come back to center. Tip to the other. Breathe. And let's come back to center. Perfect. We're going to do a little bit of meditation. I'm going to bring my big soup bowl, no, my sound bowl, <laughs> and play it for you. So let's just close our eyes, let our feet relax, let our hands rest on our lap. Sitting up tall so the chest is open and we can breathe in. Let's take three nice deep breaths in and out. Close your eyes. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Sigh out through your mouth. One more. Breathe in. Sigh out. And then just breathe. Whatever is most natural for you. You need to do a few, or a few more deep breaths just to decompress. Do a few more. Whatever it takes. Be willing to give yourself whatever it takes for you to feel and be in complete peace. If you let yourself sit in this moment and the eyes are closed and you know nothing else, wouldn't you be in complete peace? What if that's all we could do right now? there. Radiate there. Imagine if all of us were radiating peace instead of worry, instead of stress. We'd be sharing that vibration with each other. So start with you. Be in your peace. Share the peace with all. We'll strengthen all together as one. Just like the sound waves touch you, so do the peace waves. Next time you feel wind touching your skin, I wonder what that is brushed over to reach you. And then as it touches over you, what will it spread outwards to all? Nice breathing in. It's safe for me to be at peace. I was born to be in peace. I am peace. I share peace. Let's bring our palms together in front of our heart center. Keeping your eyes closed. Give yourself permission today to be in peace. When conversations occur around us that take away our peace, we declare at that moment, are we gonna give our power away to someone, to something? Nope, it's ours. So bow inwards. Thank yourself for your strength each day. Radiate such an abundance of peace and love that moves through us and extends out of us. And let's lift our head and if there's someone in the room you can go look at, just look in their eyes and, and thank them. 
there's no one in the room and it's just you, imagine looking into the eyes of another that might be somewhere else and thank them. And then at the same time, I want to thank all of you. I thank you guys. I wish you a beautiful day and I look forward to seeing you again for some more movements, relaxation, and if I can support you in any other way, please let me know. Namaste.